to appointed precipitant inspectors. The law is being violated. What we hear is that customs are doing destination inspection. But customs does not have the facilities to carry out inspections. And all over the world, customs are there to collect revenue and they do their own declarations and the examinations. Customs are now the judge and the jury. So because we don't have precipitation, it used to be Cotegna, it used to be SGS, it used to be Global Scan. But in the absence of these international companies, if we must now change to destination inspection, mm -hmm. we think we should now amend the act. First of all, changing from precipitation inspection to destination inspection is a violation of the Precipitation Act of 2004. Now, if we must do that, the act has to be amended. And if the act is amended, we must also be sure that the enabling infrastructure, like scanning machine, screening facilities, or the software uh, platforms, all these things are available. But the good story is that the Central Bank of Late has commissioned a comprehensive platform for the screening and monitoring of import processes starting from the time the Form M is issued up to the, uh, all the entire cycle of import and then up to arrival at the port of uh, the, uh, the uh, destination and then with the enabling scanners. And I, I'm told this has been assessed through a PPP arrangement because it's a whole lot of money. And one, that's one of the finest foreign direct investments we are witnessing for a very long time into the country. So we are trying to encourage Central Bank to make sure that we will succeed. But at the same time, we need to train our custom officers. Our custom officers should be properly trained. The word is training. The second word is training. The third word is training. Because from what I see, within the short period I have oversighted the service, is that it's like they have abdicated this thing called training. I recall for a report that two years ago, so many people were recruited into Nigerian customs. Two weeks after, they were given guns to start job. They have not been properly trained. So we need to train our custom officers. The seasoned the training of trained officers are retiring day by day without replacement. Now you say the Nigerian Customs Service, they don't have enough facilities, the, the officials are not properly trained. But is this not a failure of the National Assembly in terms of properly appropriating enough funds for the service and even issues of proper oversight by the National Assembly? No, it is not because in the first place, we must, customs must look at the norms, how things are done, the global order. There are certain things that are not supposed to be done by customs. For instance, issue of scanners. Why will it, in, there is nowhere in the world where government buys scanners for their custom service. If you Google all the scanner manufacturers in the world, they will tell you what government does. Government will outsource the services of scan, uh, screening to an OEM. Do you know why it must be given to an OEM, the manufacturers? Because equipment like scanners have what we call lifespan limitation. They don't last for more than three, four, five years, and they will require replacements. Two, the maintenance cost is a high-tech equipment. The maintenance and management has expertise technology. So it is left for the owner to operate this. So it will be a service delivery thing. These services are paid through an industry fund that is levied by stakeholders. Either they are charged per container, if you go to Singapore, they are charged by containers. So in some countries, they are charged according to percentage approved by government per FOB, free on board. So for you to say government will go and buy scanners to give to customs, the first question is, where would they be getting the spare parts from? But the blame would also still have to go, some part of the blame would also still go to the National Assembly in terms of oversight. The customs committee is both in the House of Reps and in the Senate over the years not properly oversighting the service to, to detect some of these issues. You think that it is easy. Don't you see the level of resistance I'm getting? Even me as an elder statesman, with my experience in this country, 
from what I'm doing to make sure things are done right. Don't you see the kind of attacks that people are being hired to call me all sorts of names? People are being hired to write things to create distractions. Have you not seen that? Read, uh, read uh, over the papers in a couple of weeks running. Sustain the media campaign of calumny against the committee. Now, the issue of scanners, would this be something that, you know, the committee would be, be talking about going forward, the scanners for the Customs Service? Like I told you, the, the Technical Committee on Comprehensive Import Supervision Scheme under Central Bank was created by the Precipment Act. The membership is Central Bank, Federal Minister of Finance, Federal Minister of Trade and Industry, NAVDAC, SON, Shippers Council. They've already, because they appeared before us at the beginning of this uh, investigation, they've already addressed the problem because the, the technology they deployed is the same technology being used in London, it's being used in France, it's being used in Singapore, it's being used in Switzerland, it's being used in USA, it's being used in China. It is an octopus. It enables central bank to monitor and regulate for, for, uh, forex uh, utilization and the track from aims and import activities and also provides the scanning activities for Nigerian customs. So the issue of scanners is no longer the issue. Scanners are just for image capturing. But after you have captured the image, it has to be processed and, and be utilized. And what Central Bank has acquired, uh, acquired now, apart from is a comprehensive platform, has also an additional advantage of archiving documents. So that at any given time there is a referral, you know what to do and where to go and get the documents you are looking for. So I think it is a comprehensive, it's a thorough uh, platform and it is a proprietary technology. And they have already signed the agreement. And there is no upfront payment by government. The same way it is deployed in London, the same way it's deployed in France, the same way it's deployed in Singapore, is the same way it's being deployed uh, 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 in Nigeria. Now. And it's expected to come with 64 scanners. So all the entry and exit points in Nigeria will be properly manned. And all the facilities for screening and scanning will also be deployed. They did a presentation to us when they appeared before us. And most of we were unanimously uh, 